All right, Bernie be Sanders' up, winning that, streak continued over the weekend with a victory in the Wyoming caucuses on Saturday. Sanders beat Hillary Clinton by 12 points, 56 to 44, notching his eighth win in the last nine okay. nominating contests. Okay, okay, what do we do here? <laughs> I mean, it so, sounds so like he's call. winning. He, he's won eight out of nine. Yep. But he's here, and look, and look, he wins by 12 points. I tell you, I would not do well as a Democratic politician. <laughs> he wins by 12 points. He may not even pick up a single delegate. Yeah. It's seven to six now with a remaining delegate to be decided later. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's a crushing victory. I know. And listen, I think that with the super delegates that they have, I think she only has to win 30% of the, she only has to get 30% of the vote in the uh, remaining contest. I mean, talk about voters feeling like a system well, might be and, rigged. And, 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 Why are you if, even if, voting? If, if you're driving right. Wyoming. Wyoming. right now, we've been talking about rigged systems. We're putting up right now a graphic. Bernie Sanders wins 56 to 44% in Wyoming. The delegates rewarded Hillary Clinton 11 Bernie Sanders seven. Why does the Democratic Party even have voting booths? No, why? This system is so rigged. It feels that way, and I think if you know they fall into line better than our voters do. But I can see some of the same emotions boiling over at their convention. But we always talk about voter turnout and how important it is to do your duty as a citizen. There's absolutely no reason any of those people voted. In any of There's those not. states, I mean, right? I, what's the justification? Please, for that? someone tell me. These, these, these are the rules. No, that's yeah, not a good I answer. That, tell me why why rigged. those people needed to go vote because they, they don't their rigged. votes don't the matter. It turned out it's not rigged. These Does there, do their votes rigged. matter, Mark yeah, Albert? They do. The How? Votes matter. Do they count in some Depends way? On where you turn out. How? I don't oh, think it's only a good in system. some parts of the country I don't think it's it matters. A good system, but it's not he like won by 12 percentage what, what points and, and I don't, lost the delegate. I don't think count. it's a good system. All I'm saying is it's not. Do you think it's your votes, huh? Matthew? Do you don't think that the Democrats matter. and Republicans change their delegate allotment processes after only, this cycle? Only if the winner of the White House decides he or she wants to change it, which is unlikely. These are the rules. I don't just, all really. I'm, all I'm saying is, it's not, not like the asking. Cruz people or the Clinton people have gone in and fixed it or rigged it. Okay, but let's, just, I'm talking about, about the Democrats, Democrats for now. Fair. Let's talk about the Democrats for we, now. We didn't say that. Here right. is a party Feels bad. who sends their activists out and have people chattering on TV and chattering on talk radio about voter disenfranchisement Completely if you make somebody show a picture field. of themselves. This same party tells voters to go straight to hell when they, they, they select somebody by 12 percentage points and end up letting the other candidate who lost by 12 percentage points win the most delegates. That by definition, is voter disenfranchisement. So all, I mean, it is a rigged system on the Democratic side, even worse than the Republican side. And I don't know why Democratic voters put up with it. If I'm you say saying, those are the rules, I, I'm, I'm just, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna I just, lunge I, at you. I agree with everything you said, except I wouldn't say it's rigged. It's not rigged, it's disenfranchisement. It's not one person, one vote. What do but you it's not call rigged. it when voters going to the voting booth does, doesn't matter at as all. much a as mess, insider. A Millions. messed up system. That is a rigged. It's not rigged. It is a system it rigged against voters. It's a system rigged against people that go to voting booths. It's a system rigged against people that go out to caucuses. It is a system that is rigged in favor of the rich and the powerful and the politically connected. Bernie Sanders wins by 12 percentage points. Show, show, show. So he wins 56 to 44. Now let's look at the delegate count. He didn't get any super Put him up. Okay. And one, after right? winning by 12 percentage points. He's losing. He loses <laughs> Wyoming. He's losing. Where it counts by Primary. four delegates, 11 to seven. Now, John Heilman, if that is a system that is not rigged, what? against voters and rigged in favor of the rich and powerful? Please tell me one that is. Well, I don't really totally understand this graphic, so that's part of the super delegates. That's right. Super super delegates delegates. I mean, look, that's look a the, the, good there's, point. An, there's a there's a powerful argument that people in that people in the Democratic Party have made some and should make, I think, that super delegates are a bad idea, and that the idea that there sh the party should not have 
uh, people who are allowed to, that you should only have pledged delegates and they should be aligned with the, with, with the will of the people. That's a powerful argument. It's, as Mark says, it's not the system that currently is in place right now. Right now, the Democratic right. Party has decided, had decided well, long why, ago. Why are they disenfranchising that their voters? But, well, again, the Don't reason, they care? One person, one vote? The, 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 Isn't that what we hear? One the, person, one vote? Yes, but the system was designed a long time ago to prevent things like George McGovern happening again. So there are people who are elected, mostly elected officials, who the party says, you are allowed to choose whoever you want. Right. So again, you can be against that system. I know, I, I, it's I mean, a, listen, I'm not a, I'm not I don't, a I don't like this, I don't like that system. I'm not well, a Democrat. Why did all those people But vote, Nicole, could you Hellman? imagine why, why if, it, I, if it were Republicans? No, and this Can you imagine if it, were, <laughs> if it were Republicans that were saying, listen, you know what? They'd the all people, be in witness protection. The people aren't the smart, delegates. the people People yeah. aren't smart enough to be able to pick the nominee. We're going to have super delegates. We're going yeah. to get the richest, most powerful, most politically connected people right. to rig the process. From the, yeah. If that were the case, Jeb Bush would still be in first place. Yeah, listen, they would be in witness protection. And um, the process, listen, there are not a lot of things to be relieved about as a Republican in this cycle. That we don't have super delegates is one thing that I feel relieved about. I mean, it is just, and I know these are the rules, and I've been to conventions, and I know the rules can seem <laughs> Arcane. But we are now, this is a gut cycle and at a gut level, when you have the communications job of explaining these are the arcane rules as they've been crafted to prevent something that happened in the 60s from happening in 2016, that is an impossible communications challenge. And both the Democratic Convention and the Republican Convention, in my opinion, are facing impossible communications challenges. Impossible. Wait, wait till the Trumps start challenging the seating of delegations. Wait till that happens. Then you'll see a, a big debate about the rules.